entertainment. And the BAFTA goes to... Swashbuckle. Sorry, that was, a, uh, that was a massive surprise. We were going, there's no cameras near us. We're not going to win. Uh, gosh, just huge thanks. Thank you so much um, to BAFTA, for just everyone involved in the program, to Kay and Ali at uh, CBeebies for commissioning us. Um, a preschool physical game show based on pirates looked brilliant on paper. And um, when you start doing it in practice and you realise that kids don't really listen to the rules of games that well <laughs> and um, they have no understanding of time limits whatsoever <laughs> and they're really quite prone to crying when they lose um, <laughs> you realise what a really big challenge it is but it's all credit to, uh, to the team for just doing an awesome job it's a fabulous show, it's a real uh, kind of sense of family so uh, this goes to everyone, thanks so much to win a BAFTA for entertainment. John. <laughs> uh, just, we're, we're totally blown away. We totally didn't think it was going to be us. Why? Because so we, we, all the cameras were around Sam and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought they were going to win it. Uh, oh, it's, it's so exciting. I, it's a preschool show. You know, it's four CBeebies. So to be, to be up for the entertainment award in itself was just, was just really thrilling. But to... To win it is just crazy. It's great. It's, it's cool. a really unique show. What actually inspired it in the first place? Where did that come from? Go on, Vanessa. You can take this one. <laughs> I'll take this one. Um, it's that there's never been a physical game show for preschoolers before. Um, and it's all about um, that sort of learning confidence, learning physical skills as well. Um, and also having great fun with it. And pirates. Who doesn't love a pirate? <laughs> and do you think it's important to have fun baddies in the show? Totally. I mean, actually, they're not uh, um, they're not many baddies on CBBS, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a they we've got baddies, but with heart. Yeah, yeah. Are there any new side. characters that you'd like to introduce that you haven't yet? Oh, Have you got well, any ideas for new characters that could? We introduce a few, it? like um, some. An octopus and <laughs> things like that, but um, nothing yet. They're they're stranded on an island. There's not an awful lot on there that they can deal with. And you've got a lot of things going on in each show. Do you have any standout memories or nuggets that you just think that's why I did this? Um, the ability to cover people in gunge uh, yeah. and be paid for it is quite good. Um, and uh, yeah, I, you see the 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 sheer joy on kids' faces when they're taking part. They're just totally in, in the moment. They're enjoying it. The, the kids who are, you know, are watching, we have 100-odd kids in the audience, they're going bananas as well. You know, you, we know that we're giving them a genuinely unique experience, that there is nothing else like it for them within you know, the experience of making TV, but then when they see it on TV as well, there's nothing quite like it for them, and so that's special. And yeah. Gemma's just perfect as well. What a phenomenal job she does. She really does, because she, it's her jewels that are at stake. And so she plays a really <laughs> important role in this. And, and it's, we're working with young children who don't listen to rules that well, the rules of games, who need a bit of shepherding around. And so she, she plays an absolute blinder. This is definitely for, for her. She's great. Well, you should be over the moon. Congratulations. Thank Enjoy you. your Thank evening. You. Well Thank done. you very much. Ooh. I wrote a list in case of emergencies. Um, thank you to everybody who worked on Horrible Histories before we came along for setting such an incredibly high standard for us to try and aim for. You have won a BAFTA. So a lot of people have been in touch with you, yeah. have they, since the show went out? What sort of things have you had? Um, I've had um, loads of like people asking about my story and that, but I've also had people who have like never come out to their parents and that, and like, messaging me, asking me how they do it and that, and it's like... It's overwhelming, like, I never know what to put.